thank everyone. It was almost stunning on a middle of a January day to see all those signatures, alumni, students. Uh, Mayor Stratton came over yesterday. He couldn't be here today because of his travel, but he came over and signed yesterday. And it was just a tremendous outpouring of interest in what the, what the building means for Union. This is a building that really embodies uh, what Union College is, is all about. It sits uh, physically as well as symbolically really at the crossroads of the intellectual uh, and social life of this campus. I'm a graduate of Union and uh, just to mention my brother is also, I work with him, our site superintendent Ed Whalen is a graduate of Union College. The site contractor is a graduate of Union College and so is the masonry contractor. So. We've got some expertise here. As a graduate, I benefited from this union of knowledge here. I was a, a civil engineer, was able to study civil engineering and also economics at the same time, and then was required to take science courses, liberal arts courses, and I thought that would be a great background for the construction industry, and I was right. Um, so this building special to A.J. Martini because we know that all those disciplines are going to be breathing in there uh, very soon. Union's really a very special place. It's a meeting place for students and faculty in arts and humanities, social sciences, science and engineering. At Union, the Wold Center will bring people together across disciplines, as you've heard, and it will be a symbol of what Union stands for. It's going to be beautiful, it's going to be functional, it's going to be energy efficient and environmentally responsible. On behalf of the faculty and the academic affairs staff, I'd like to add my thanks to John and Jane Wold and the Wold family for their vision and generosity and to President Ainley for his leadership in making this building a reality. Institutions are all known by what they build and what they don't build. That buildings are more than just places we occupy. Buildings are more than just places where activities take place. Buildings symbolically say things about what is important to an institution. And so what I wanted in the brief time that I have to say to you is what this building means in my mind uh, in terms of what Union College is trying to project. First of all, and I think in, in some sense most importantly, what it is trying to say something about is the fact that Union College is not standing still. We live in difficult economic times, and I'm pleased to say that thanks to the generosity of donors like the Wold family and the others that John Kelly has been in, in contact with, John Kelly himself, this institution is not standing still. In point of fact, we are committed to remaining at the cutting edge of American higher education. Secondly, what this building to me screams loudly and clearly is that Union College continues as we move into yet our third century to try to be at the forefront of examining what it means to liberally educate generations of students. To me, this building with its emphasis upon science, engineering, and the liberal arts is all about what is the meaning of the liberal arts in the 21st century. That's something my grandfather would understand well. And I'm sorry he's not here today to celebrate, but uh, in his behalf, I'm going to read a little letter that he, he wrote. So, John S. Wold. I join and welcome to all participants at this topping party as we celebrate the structural progress of this building. It is a significant part of the Union College academic wedding of science and art. I like to think that Father's naming of this building is appropriate in Union College history, recognizing his 25 years as chairman of a great Union Physics Department. His artistic bent was developed and cultivated in Chinese art during several academic residencies in the early 1900s. He was one of few who understood the need of a balance between science and art. The Wold family joins in the celebration of progress and we will be with you in the final dedication ceremony. But more than that, we join in this anticipation of this basic intellectual endeavor so effectively conducted and supported by our president, Stephen Ainley. God bless, John S. Wold.